What? What? Don't get that to from so the phone in tears. What? Why? Because you didn't send him a thank you card. For what? For all the computers for school's vouchers he's collected for you. I don't go to school anymore. Where the hell is he getting these vouchers from? Because they've discontinued them like 10 years ago. How is that my fault? I don't understand. I cannot win. This is just ridiculous. God, care. I watched the most fucked up thing last night. What? It was this real life documentary, yeah, about this NASA experiment, yeah, yeah. where he sent this monkey into space in its own spacecraft. But when it hit a certain altitude, the monkey's head just exploded like a grape. So they sent this other monkey into space yeah. in its own spacecraft, and they sorted the altitude problem out, but because the scientists were so obsessed with doing that, they totally forgot to teach the monkey how to navigate its craft. So it just got lost in space for all time. Which I think is far worse, to be fair. What? Well, go to sleep then, Sue, rather than shouting down here the whole time, you stupid old bat! Me and Kerry's mum do not see eye to eye. We've had some proper stand-up blazing rows. Actually, just me stand up. She's always in bed. See, I live with my nan, and we like things in a certain way. We like to know where everything is. But Kerry and her mum, they're just like two pigs rolling around in their own muck. Mum said you've got to leave. What? Why? Because you called her an old bat. She is an old bat. I've got to leave now. Yeah, I heard her. Bye, Sue! Why is that little rat coming here? Eating all his food. Purple gas in his mouth. How do you know the ass one? I'm still here! I know! If you want to have a laugh, but also be physically sick, just watch Kerry's mum put her sandals on. It's disgusting. They're like two, her feet are like two blocks of spam, yeah? And watching her try and squeeze them into her broken stocks is just... <sighs> Get your mum to say tomato. Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, no. please. Oh. Please. I can't stop thinking about that monkey. Yeah, same. So I've just been to my dad's, but he wasn't there because his girlfriend Sandra kicked him out and he's living in a caravan at the moment. I'm just going to be there for him no matter what, just like he's been there for me. Even though that has been hard for him to be there for me, to be fair, because he has darts on a Wednesday and skittles on a Thursday. And the weekends are right off because he likes his me time. I needed the toilet, right? I was desperate, because I'd had four pints down the keepers. Yeah. So I went in the bushes by the ladies' tennis club and some meddling old tar only goes and calls the police and said, I'm peeping on her. And I was aroused. I weren't aroused, just well endowed. Yeah. You can't shoot a man for being well endowed, care. Okay? No. Now they're pressing charges. Sandra's kicked me out. The darts team don't want to know. When I went in the pub yesterday, they all turned their back on me. Even Alan. Even Alan? Well, I some bloody tatters care. Absolute tatters. I'm in this bloody caravan without a pot to piss in. It's just malicious lies, that's all it is. They're jealous of what God gave me downstairs. Yeah. And now I got nothing left. You got me, Dad. Nothing left. I peeped once. 
in 78 and I didn't like it. I didn't like it one slice. No. And I vowed myself to never peep again. Yeah. Well, tell a lie, I peeped just once more, just to make sure I didn't like it. That was in 89 and I didn't like it that time neither. Mm. I mean, I'm a milkman by trade care. Don't you think I've got better things to do? It's all right, Dad, the truth has to help. No, it don't care. The next thing you know, you'll get a call from the police who say they've got CCTV footage that absolutely nails you and your DNA all over a tennis racket cover. I'm sorry, Care, but it's an absolute stitch up. So I look after you, Dad. <laughs> Oi! Ah, leave it, Care. Leave it. It's only Alan. <sighs> Bloody Alan. Fucking little snake. <laughs>